Hey everyone, welcome to May's Lug Life. I'm May. Today we're going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite wallets that I didn't think was going to be one of my favorite wallets, um, especially when I first saw it. Um, this is the Rodeo 2. There was a Rodeo 1. I don't have that. Um, I actually really didn't like the Rodeo 1 when I looked at the inside. Well, I didn't like the outside much either. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the quilting that was on it. Uh, the quilting that was on it was similar to what's on the tram right now. Um, it looked better, I think, on this one. But when I saw it on the other, on the on the road, I really didn't like it. And the layout on the inside was really not conducive to the way I like my wallets to be. So I didn't even bat an eye at getting it. When I saw it, I was like, yep, okay, that's a write-off. Never going to get it. Uh, the, when the Rodeo 2 came out, they completely refigured, uh, reconfigured the inside and the layout of, of all the different features. And I was immediately like, wow, okay, this is a huge improvement. I like it so much better. And I ended up getting two because they were a really good price. This is even before I thought maybe I had a, a use for them in my, li in my life. But I got them because it was a good price. I kind of loved the insides of them. And I just wanted them so badly, so I got them. And it ended up becoming basically my top three wallets um and it's, it's hard for me to even choose which wallet i like the best because they're so different and they serve really different purposes in my life but um anyway so this is one of my absolute top 10 uh lug things i think ever um so anyway so i'm gonna talk about the sorry the rodeo 2 which is what i have in front of me there um stay tuned at the end of this video i will have some fact sheets as i always do uh with all the different measurements and features that this wallet has uh, that I pulled directly off of the Lug website, and you can sort of maybe see some of the other colors that were available as well. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for that, and uh, I'm going to take you on a tour of the outside of it. I might sort of just show you really quickly how it compares to some of the other wallets, uh, in case you're wondering. Um, and part of the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm actually switching from one wallet to the other. I've been using the blue one uh, through the summer. Uh, it's November now, and I probably should have done this sooner. I just haven't had the time. Um, I keep I've, the the red one's been out for a while for me to switch it over. I just haven't gotten around to it. Today I'm gonna do it. So that's why I, I thought I may as well do a review on it because I'm I'm dealing with these two wallets today. So before I switch everything over, I thought I would actually take you on a tour. So anyway, so let's talk about these two really quickly. So this one here, as I said, it is the navy blue. Uh, you can't really see the color too well because I'm not using daylight at the moment. It's so dark these days, so I'm just using some light that I have here. But just to show you, I don't know if I can show you without showing you all my stuff, um, but I guess you can. That's the lining there. So that's the, um, I think it's the chevron uh, that uh, has come in a few different things. It also used to be the print that came inside the floral multi. Uh, and that's the reason why I bought it. I don't know. I'm not showing you this. Um, it's just a coupon. Uh, but anyways, that I actually got this wallet mainly. I mean, I love blue. I love navy. No big deal. I love that. But I wasn't a really huge fan of the stitching. I'm not really big quilting quilt person. Uh, but it was more the inside. And I love this print. I love this pattern. And that's why I got it. Um, so anyway, so that's the navy blue. And then this one, again, didn't love the color of the outside. I don't hate it, um, but it's, this is the, I always forget what this is. This is the Rosewood Red, but this is the reason why I bought it. It is the inside that I completely fell for. So that's the maple cream that I just love. Um, I just want to sort of say to lug out there. So if you want to put this lining on the inside of the this print, which is the Buffalo Check Red, I think we'd have a winner and I think every Canadian would probably end up buying these in droves because nothing screams Canadian more than having this print on the outside and having red maple leaves on the inside. Just putting that out there. Anyway, so I bought these two walls mainly because I fell in love with the interiors. Um, so just so you know, Lug, also you can sell a wallet or sell a bag just because the interior is so amazing. So I actually ended up buying these mainly because I fell in love with the interiors and I wasn't really sure where else I would want this. So I thought these were pretty good prices when they first came out. I bought the two of them because I was still sort of 
you know, trying to find a really good wallet. And I, I bought a few already. And it wasn't like I didn't love them. I fell in love with a couple right off the bat. But because it was, this was so unique, I thought, oh, I'll just try it and see how it goes. And thank God I did because I actually absolutely love this. So when you see this, it's actually very orange in this light. It is more red in other lights. Um, but that's part of the reason why I don't love this wallet because in some case, and sorry, in some lights it looks orange. In some lights it looks a bit pink. In some lights it looks a bit red. And I kind of find it almost a little too much change. <laughs> um, I would have loved if this was like a deep, almost like a cranberry red. I think if it was that color, I would have been so much more happy about it. I don't dis, I don't not like this color. I do, and I think it's a great autumn color, but it's just not my absolute total favorite. And it is different from the black, uh, so the the um, buffalo check red red. That red is more Christmas red like a like a like a holly berry red and that is something else it's also got more of a sheen to it so anyway there you go so that's that color so let's go on a tour of the outside and then on the inside um and i'm also going to just very fast before i go on show you just how it compares in size to some of the other wallets that exist that are sort of in that range so i just showed you what it looked like compared to the tandem so that's the tandem there so that's the t that's the height that's the depth and that's the width there. So they're about the same height. One's a little bit longer. This one has a, has a little bit more girth to it, I guess, but just because it has more stuff to it, like once you open it and once you actually put stuff into it. So that's the tandem there. Uh, this is the splits wallet and it's a little tiny bit shorter this way. So it's more of a square rather than a rectangle and it's a bit more of a brick. So when you fill the, the splits, it turns into like a cube. This one doesn't get as fat. Just so you know, this is what it looks like. I, this is actually quite full, and that's what it looks like when it's empty. That's what it looks like when it's full. Um, and it's it's not packed, 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 but it's quite full. And so it still has a pretty slim profile. So that's the splits. And then this is the um, Handspring Mini, and it also has uh, it's almost the same size, but it's a little bit, obviously it's smaller, it's a lot thinner, and it doesn't fit anywhere near as much. But just so you're, if you're looking for wallets and, you know, trying to figure out what size everything is, again, this is the full version, this is the empty one, this is empty period, and that's the empty version, empty version, so, so there we are, okay? So those are the sort of the similarly sized wallets that I have at the moment, um, and anyway, so... Let's go on a tour. So let's go and take a look at the outside first. So you have a zipper that goes all the way from one end to the other. And it's the, on all the metal on it is the gunmetal finish. It's got the gunmetal color. Um, and then before I go on the inside, this has, which is kind of why I got it. I'm not going to do it because I can't do it when I'm behind the camera. I can do it no problem when I have it just in front of me. But this has a removable, you can see there, a removable uh, wristlet strap. So you can just pull that out and take the wristlet strap off if you don't want it. I've always left mine on because I actually find it really handy. So it's living in my bag, it sits there. I like to pull my wallet out by the strap. <laughs> so I actually always have my strap sticking out the top or sort of sitting at the sides. So when I unzip my purse, I can actually pull the wallet out by the strap, which is maybe not the best thing in the world. But anyways, I, lo I love that. Um, but lo I love that this is removable. So you can actually get rid of this if it's taking up too much space or you just want it to be a simple wallet. Um, but if you wanted to take this out and take this with you to the grocery store, um, you can easily carry that as a wristlet strap. And so you can put that on and you can also interchange this. You can put this on a different wallet or in a different bag or anything that has that little hole in it or has a little spot that you can put the clasp onto. So it's kind of a good thing. Even if you didn't want to use this as a, with a, this with a wristlet strap, you could take that off and use it on a different wallet or a different bag. So that's how that hangs. And it is, it actually, I have used this before as a wristlet. It's really comfortable. Uh, the wallet is not so big that it really sort of hangs and bangs around. It actually works really, really well. Um, and then the back here is where the coins go. I guess it's the coin pouch and it's pretty deep. It has its own gusset there. So you can actually fit a fair bit of stuff in there. So just again, just to show you when it's full, you can see the coins there. It doesn't, it doesn't stick out too, too much. Um, the one negative thing I am going to say, I'm going to sort of go into my review part now, I guess, just quickly, just cause I've got it cause I'm talking about it. See this flap that allows this wallet to expand a bit. So if you've got a lot of coins, it does allow that part to expand out. But 
because there's a little flap here, and it's the same for all the other wallets like this. Um, I know that the Minuet and the uh, handspring, the Mini Handspring have this. I think the only one that doesn't is this one. Yeah, the only one that doesn't. So if you see there, it's flat. There's no little extra flap. This is the Tandem. Almost all the other wallets that have that little zipper on the outside have this little extra flap. I don't know if you can see it on that one as well. There, you can really see it on this one here. Um, when it's full and you're putting this into your bag, this has the potential to pull open. So if, let's say, you've got this sort of wedge somewhere and this is getting caught on something, that actually sometimes pushes that zipper open. So sometimes, if you're not careful, if this gets caught on stuff, that starts the zipper going. And if that zipper pull gets stuck on anything or gets caught in anything, you've got, you know, your, your, the whole contents of this pouch will empty out wherever. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but it happens just enough that it is kind of a thing that you have to watch out for. And a thing that when I put my wallet in, I'd be really careful that this is zipped. So I'll actually take my fingers and pull that up while I put that wallet back into my into my into my purse and make sure that zippers close as I go in. And sometimes, I mean I usually pull it out by this, but sometimes if I kind of look and go, oh, that looks like it's opened, I'll use my fingers to pull the bag outside this wallet out of the bag with my fingers on the zipper so that this just it doesn't come out and empty all over the floor. So that is the one drawback of all of the lug wallets that have this flap. And the rodeo is one of them. So so there you go. If that bothers you at all, just be really careful on that one. Maybe don't pack that wallet quite that part of the wallet quite so much. Okay, back to the tour. So that is the outside. The inside here is the reason why I love this so much. There's so much room in here. <clears throat> so much room. So I'm just gonna get some water. <clears throat> so sorry. <clears throat> okay, so there's a whole lot of room. There is room for tons of cards, lots of cash, lots of little hidden spots. So back here is where you would keep your cash um, or your receipts, really, really wide. The whole thing, by the way, is RFID protected. So if you don't have to worry about any part of this wallet being um, victim to, threat, to theft, to electronic theft. So <clears throat> that's really, really big. Um, our Canadian bills sit down here. So sometimes if I have like a really big receipt or something like that, it fits easily in there. So it's not just short enough to put your cash because the cash probably sits about there. Um, and it doesn't go all the way to the end. So it, it kind of fits any bill. So it depends on which country you're going to. If you're using this as a travel wallet, you can fit pretty much any sized bill. Uh, if it's really tall, if it's really short, it will still fit, which is really great. So it's not meant specifically for Canadian bills or for American bills, uh, which is really, really nice because I have definitely bought wallets in the past where <clears throat> it was made in some other foreign country and it just doesn't fit the things that live in this country. So it was a really huge letdown. So this should fit pretty much any bill that you've got. Um, then it's got one, two, three card slots. Well, actually two regu regular card slots and an ID window here. And then there's the same thing on the other side. One, two regular card slots there and then a little ID window there. Then there are two extra little slots on each side. So there's a slot there you could put more cards and another slot there and same thing over here one there and then one there so there are ton there's lots and lots of room for cards i was able again i'm not sure if i can show you this without showing you everything in my wallet um so i've got like my costco card here so i can see it really quickly i can pull that out really really fast um but then i've got my bank cards and my credit cards they're the ones i use the most and then over here, I have my bus pass, which I don't use very often. A couple of gift cards that I use most frequently. And then I have tucked away in here where I'm sure we all have these little things that these little keychain cards. I have just put them on a little clip um, like this. And I put them all on here because I don't want them on my keychain. Uh, and then I shove the whole thing in there. And it seems to fit everything really well. So when I do need one of those stupid little cards, um, I pull the whole thing out, dig around, find it, let them scan it, and shove the entire thing back in. So that's how I've been able to use that extra little slot back there. So there we go. So it fits pretty much anything. This wallet will pack a punch. Um, I have put more in there before. Um, the only reason why I don't like putting a ton more in there is because 
I don't want to forget that I've got a card or I don't want to pull, I don't like pulling, like let's say I've got two or three cards in this one slot. I don't want to pull the one card out and have the other two go flying out. That's happened to me before. Um, so I try to keep the minimal amount of things in the one slot. Um, usually no more than two, so I can always keep track of where the other one is. Um, but it will hold more than just the one card. So it's not so tight that you can only fit one card. You can easily fit three cards into each slot and not have this thing buckle out too much. Um, and then as far as the ID windows, I actually did a video about ID windows specifically in all the different lug wallets, this being one of them. Uh, so if you want to see that one, I will try to leave that link below uh, so that you can see that video where I talk only about ID windows. I'm not going to talk about that here today, but just so you are aware, if you can see, this little card window here is the same size as this one, but I don't know if you're aware, but this card inside here, you can't actually see the whole card. So that is the exact same size as a credit card would be. And then when you put that in, you're actually going to start missing part of the card. So if this were to go in, you'd hang on, it's getting stuck on the bottom here. Um, you'd probably run into that issue as well. But do you see how it's missing the top? You can't quite see the top. You can't quite see the very bottom. You can't see the very top and you can't see this edge. You're getting a lot of the, of the, of the, of the card, but you can't see all of it. So depending on the ID you're holding or the card that you're holding there, you know, loyalty card or whatever, you may or may not be able to see all of it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and it is a top load. So if it's something that you need to take in and out really, really quickly, just be aware that that is going to be a spot that you may or may not just be able to like open and flash your card and then move on. You'll probably have to take it out depending on where all the information is located on your card. So, so there we go. So that is the Rodeo 2. Uh, it has become one of my favorite wallets, like I said, because I love the size of it. Um, we're in a pandemic right now, so I'm filming this during the pandemic. I don't know when you're watching this, but um, I used to carry the giant Kickflip 3. Um, I actually, even before I got to Kickflip 3, before I became a lug nut, the wallets I had were like this. They were basically bricks. So I it, it, it pretty much carried every card, every single thing, like all of my cash, all of my chain, every single thing I could possibly ever want lived in one of these. This thing turns into a brick. I'm not saying I don't love this. This is probably my absolute favorite wallet, but during the pandemic, I didn't want to carry everything with me everywhere because I wasn't going to 9% of the stores uh, that I had loyalty cards for. I wasn't using, you know, all the different things. So I finally decided I was going to sort of downsize and just put the bare essentials in this. Um, but I didn't want just the bare, bare, bare essentials of just having, um, you know, like the, the minuet or, or the handspring because it wasn't enough card slots. Uh, and it wasn't big enough to carry everything that I wanted. And I just didn't love it. So I ended up actually putting it in here and I fell in love. So even though I didn't love the outside as much and I didn't think I was going to love it as much, it ended up being probably, I mean, it's so hard for me. To, my, my, my top three basically are the kickflip for the big wallet, the rodeo for the medium size, even though I think this is a close these are, I don't know, I love them both equally as far as the medium size wallet. And then the small wallet, my favorite is the Minuet. So they all serve different purposes. So it's really hard for me to choose which one of the most. But this is my probably my favorite medium size because, you know, even though the tandem is great, um, this, this guy has the strap. It's got, you know, it has a zipper. It, there, there, there's, there's just more about it. And I love that it's just sort of compact and it fits really well in my hand. And I adore the interior so much that sometimes that that's enough to do it for me. So anyways, so those are, that's, that's sort of my take on the rodeo. Um, let me know what you think. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, stay tuned for the fact sheets at the end of this. If you want to know more about this wallet, um, I'm really hoping to come out with more colors soon. Um, I know they sort of did not too long ago, but i still want other ones because the ones that they have are not totally for me. Um, I'm hoping that there's a whole bunch of new colors that have just come out recently that I'm going to eventually see while it's in those colors for because I kind of don't ever want to not have a rodeo in my life. So I don't ever want these to wear out. Uh, <laughs> so I would like to have some other ones I can change in and out of so that I can maintain the life, the lifespan of all of them for a little bit longer. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them uh, as quickly as possible. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Hope you um, have a good one and I will see you next time around. Take care.